pstars.com. We ski so you don't have to. Five minute guide to fitting Dynafit bindings. You might think fitting your own Dynafit bindings has got to be the craziest thing in the world to do. And you're possibly right. But we'll show you how to do it. Um, you know, this is ideal when you, uh, you've just bought some new skis and uh, you, know, you want to go up into the mountains up skiing. It's uh, eight in the mall, eight o'clock in the morning and suddenly you get downstairs and you think, oh my God, I didn't put those Dynafit bindings on last night. I didn't ask the shop to do it either. I must be crazy. So here's how you do it. The first thing, two important things. One, you need to find the centre line of your boots. This is exactly halfway if you measure. The boot sole is 30 centimetres and this is at halfway across the boot, 15 centimetres. That's the boot centre. The other thing you need to find is the centre of the ski. It's normally marked clearly. Uh, this is a Volki and you'll see a little eye on the side which is the centre of the ski and also this transfer is on the centre of the ski. If you don't have a centre line on your ski, don't despair. Get a tape measure, measure from the tail to the back, 166 centimetres, and then take half that distance, 166, 83. Um, let me double check that. And that gives you the cord line, which is where your toe is going to be. But it's best to, I, I think for ski touring, it's better just to stick with the centre line. Uh, that, that's marked if it's there. So um, next thing we want to do, we've got our Dynafit binding. We've taken it apart. You just see that the you don't need templates, you don't need jigs or anything complicated like that. Obviously, if you're working in a shop and doing hundreds of pairs of skis a day, that might be interesting. You uh, just want to take uh, first of all take your boot. I've already uh, made a mark on here. You need to line the centre line of the boot using a square with the centre of the ski. Mark where the approximately where the toes are going to be. If it's a millimetre or two out it doesn't matter it's good to have the two skis uh, symmetric though. Mark where that point's going to be. Take a tape measure and measure that mark 33.2. You measure on the other side and then you draw a line across. And you do exactly repeat the same thing on the other ski so that uh, if you line the two skis up at the back nice and square you'll see we're going to fit the binding at the same point. And then if you've got a narrow ski like this it's, it's actually uh, pretty trivial. You just take the, um, the crampon holder and you can actually see when it's central just leave a millimetre or two either side otherwise measure Centre of the ski with a ruler, this is 66 uh, millimetres, mark 33 millimetres, 33 millimetres, and draw a line across, have a rough idea of the centre. So we take that, we take a felt pen, and we mark the five points where we're going to drill holes. They always say measure, tri measure once, drill twice, measure twice, drill once. So we're going to double check that the cent centre hole is in the middle. So I said the ski is 66 wide, that's 33. Doesn't matter, there's a fraction of a millimetre difference either way. The other thing to note is the hole that you drill. The thing that holds the binding into the ski is, uh, is a sheet under the top sheet. It's not the wood or anything like that. And uh, you want to drill exactly as the manufacturer recommends, in this case 3.6 millimetres. Take a battery off as you drill on slow speed. As I say, always worth just having a double check by eye that uh, the boot's going to go in the right place. This is a high quality self-centering drill bit. And I've put a little um, collet around here, just made with um, gaffer tape. You want to drill in about uh, 10 millimetres. Uh, you need to drill in a bit. Uh, as I say, the screw isn't actually going to hold into the wood. It's holding in on the top sheet like a self-tapper. If you don't drill in far enough, you'll end up, when you screw in, pushing material out of the base and you'll end up with uh, some nasty uh, lumps in the bottom of the ski. Oh, straight, straight out. Oh. Always good to have an assistant who can tell you whether you're straight or not. And make sure that you've got the bit in tight. Straight, 
want to again? Yeah. Cool. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. A little bit of a break because I just needed to grab a, a tool I hadn't, a large drill bit, so I just want to countersink. Just take a bit of the top material off these holes so the binding sits flush. And uh, I'll just clean the mouth a little bit more. There's a little bit of material left in there. There we go, that's nice and clean. They're pretty much smooth. Then, magic ingredient. This doesn't hold the bindings on, it uh, just seals against water ingress. So, we put that in. Bit of a messy job. Uh, we could do. What are you flapping around for? Just pushing the bottle away so I can feel. <laughs> Excellent. That's okay. Get that in place. Uh, make sure the old screws are clean. So as I said, the point of the glue is to seal the holes, not to hold the screws in place. It's the top sheet that holds the screws in. It's just to provide a bit of uh, water sealing. First thing to do is make sure that your uh, uh, lugs in the front of the boots are clean so the boots sit in straight. Clip the boot into the front binding that you fitted earlier and you obviously haven't got a whole lot of uh, uh, room to uh, play with these Dynafit bindings. They only give you about a Mondo point max. So this is a four millimeter dowel which gives me my rear spacing which is four millimeters. I put that in the back. I draw a line on the back. Make sure the binding is square, draw lines either side, and then again we'll just use this as a as a jig, making sure you can also draw a center line to get a good idea. And then we mark the center of each hole. And once again,
and uh, I'll just check the final hole. They look great. <laughs> okay, once again, countersink the holes a little bit. Bit of glue. Try not to make such a mess this time. That's good. Get the uh, It's important not to over tighten these screws. <laughs> 